work on our four shape for our pattern brushes. So right now we have been using shapes to create our brushes. So what if we create a, a square just as we did there and let's select the stroke and have no feel. So if we do that, you can see that we have our square right there. Now let's go to our stroke window. And if you don't see it, you can go to window stroke or use the shortcut control F10. Now go and change the weight to 10 points. And now you can see that it's being applied right there in the middle, which is kind of not working for me. So to fix this, I'm going to go to align stroke and have it align stroke to inside. Now if I click on that one, you can see how that now it's getting aligned to the inside. Now I'm going to go to my direct selection tool or press A on my keyboard and select the top anchor points and round them all the way to the center to 50 pixels. Now I'm going to go and create another rectangle, put it right there, go to my direct selection tool or press A on my keyboard and round the corners all the way to the center. Now you can select both of them, click on one to make it a key object and align them to the bottom so they get properly aligned. So now I have my shapes right there. And if I want to make them as shapes, what I can do is select both of them. So just make sure that you select them both. Then go here to Object, Expand Appearance. And if you click on that, now you're going to see that you have paths instead of the stroke. Now I'm going to go to my Pathfinder, click Unite. And now I have my shape just as I want it. Now let's go to new brush, pattern brush, press OK. And now here's a little preview. Illustrator is trying to make that corner. I'm going to leave it for now. Let's go and select my method of stints and press OK. Now I'm going to go to my brush tool and create a line. And you can see how that is following it and getting applied. Also, if I make a, a different type of shape, you can see how that is going on the inside. Now I'm going to go and create an ellipse just by clicking there. Let's apply that one and in no time you have this shape that is looking like a flower. So it is very important that you understand your pattern and how you're going to be creating it to understand the possibilities that you are going to have once you apply this pattern brush to any shape you want. So in the case of this one, you can see how I get different types of flowers, ones that are bigger, ones that are smaller, just by playing with the weight. And if I go and flip across, I get the complete opposite thing, which is maybe not a flower, but a circle with an interesting pattern. So let's press OK for now, and I can change the, the colorization method and have some different colors applied to it. Now I'm going to make a copy by pressing Alt. Let's put that right there on the middle and have this very interesting pattern. So in the next lesson, we're going to create a different pattern brush. So see you there.